Okay, so Lorna, I ain't seen you in a while. I know, it's been well, quite some time. Yeah, well, we did uh, Peace Watch, uh, well, I was there in 2003, but when did Peace Watch start? It was the national program, national news program. I think it started... Around about in, 9-11? Was yeah, right after September oh, okay. 11th, um, not long after that. So 2001. 2001, 2002. Okay. Now, when I was there, I remember several interviews. I remember that there was a, one we had with the Japanese uh, thing, and I remember with, with every interview, I, I asked, I don't want to call her a handler, but the interp- whatever she was, I said, well, tell me about this, you know, how the, the miso soup or whatever the soup is. Well, he says, oh, don't worry about that. They just had to do something. So they, <laughs> they just said that this, would, this would help to and say something, right? This is kind of interesting to me. But we also had the, the woman from uh, that became president of Liberia, that's true, uh, right? Uh, a lot of people, too. but also uh, Ray McGovern. Now, but you, but you, you as producer, because you started out as what, what? As the editor, okay. as the editor of Peace Watch, and and began producing. And Ray McGovern was an interesting story because okay. there is this. But, but Ray McGovern was the first. He was. It was his first public whatever. He talk. never okay. done any public things because as an intelligence officer for the CIA, he was a former uh, chief uh, uh, intelligence officer Mm -hmm. who was responsible for himself for a number of years of giving the president Mm -hmm. his daily brief. Mm -hmm. So a presidential daily brief is high priority Mm -hmm. and only the most significant intelligence uh, material gets sent to the mm-hmm. president since everything else is just filtered So this public, this, this, this wasn't, uh, uh, I, I used to get, uh, oh, read a covert action information bulletin. That was some ex-CIA people too, but that wasn't a publication that he came from? I don't remember the name of the publication, okay. but I know it was an industry thing for in pub, for intelligence professionals. And when I read some so it's article, internal for, for intelligence people. Intel, intel, yeah. Okay. Magazine for, that they were writing and talking amongst themselves that they okay. shared okay. notes okay. And, and things that were happening mm-hmm. in, in their field. And they were critical of information that was coming out of the White House mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. the president mm-hmm. in terms of a, a presidential daily brief that said that there was a high, credible expectations of an attack happening in the United States. Mm -hmm. And then it became even more specific by saying there was a high uh, probability of it happening in New York and not just in New York, but the World Trade Center, because that was something that they felt that they wanted to complete because they didn't uh, Mm -hmm. do it the last time. Mm -hmm. So... Ray McGovern, well, none of them would talk to me. I reached out to all the writers of the article and I did a lot of research and reached out to several of them and all of them said, no, 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 no. We only, we don't do that. We don't talk publicly. We talk among themselves. We share this is just the industry. And then after, I don't even know how many people, because I just kept calling because the article was good. I said, we need to get this information out that refutes the idea that the notices that came out of the intelligence in the daily brief to the president did not say that there was a high probability of the United States being attacked again, okay, and with it being in the United States. So I got, um, I finally, some one of them told me that there's this guy that's com- somewhat of a rebel, mm-hmm. and he probably will speak to you. Mm-hmm. And his name was Ray McGovern. Okay. So That's Ray McGovern good. had never done any public speaking. He'd never come out. And he was one of the most wonderful people person because once he decided to speak, he was very forthcoming. Mm-hmm. And so because of Ray McGovern, we, Pacifica, Peace Watch, WPFW, were able to share information with the nation, really, mm-hmm. to the fact that refuted the idea that the U.S. intelligence mm-hmm. failed to note that there was a significant threat for the United States being attacked again. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, let's, 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 let's end it there, you know, but uh, we'll talk a little bit, uh, maybe we'll be able to talk another time. I'm Lona you know, Alliance, this is Anthony Sloan. Yeah, she's being a professional. Well, just go to my YouTube channel, which means I just write it out. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, man. Great.